Garoppolo and, and John Lynch came out their GM and he said, you know, there were some deals that we were discussing, but then the shoulder surgery came up and that derailed some of those deals. So, so Josina, what's the latest with Sam Fran and their quarterback situation there with Jimmy G? Well, it's interesting because, you know, general manager John Lynch has been talking about uh, Jimmy Garoppolo in very plain terms said they're not looking to uh, release him. So he's either going to be with the 49ers or they're still going to be trying to find a, a trade partner. Now, obviously, this year he counts about twenty six point nine five million against the cap. If they're able to trade him, they save about twenty five million um, and releasing him, which they're not going to do. But if that were to happen, they'd be on the hook for seven point five million. But they can make that up in offsets. It's not really what they're looking to do. And quite frankly, JLC, I don't think they should do it. You know, Les needs to put it out here, you know, value the the, the veterans yeah. <laughs> and get it done. Dre Lance is not there yet, period. <laughs> no, he's not. And and if it's not Jimmy Garoppolo, it's going to be somebody else. And that's another landing spot, I think, for Baker Mayfield, potentially, mm. if the timing's right. Because mm. him and that Kyle Shanahan offense, the boots, mm. the rollouts, I think they could compensate for the lack of size and some of the things that's naturally baked into their offense. Uh, but regardless, I, I don't think it could be Trey Lance. And, and another kid or another developmental guy or Sudfeld or whatever. Uh, but in the meantime, there's no trade to be made. He can't even start a light throwing program until July. Mm -hmm. There's no guarantees he's ready for week one. I'm not mm -hmm. sure someone's going to take on that money and just assume we'll be good to go with Jimmy G. Uh, we can knock these kids in this draft class all we want. That's what people do this time of year. Four are probably going in the first round, and some of those teams might be more inclined to go with their developmental guy than look at a Jimmy Garoppolo. So I don't think he's on their roster this year, but I think this is something that gets resolved in the summer in large part because of his health. He should be on their roster. I mean, have the arms race that has been going on in the offseason with the impact of what Les Need and the Rams did and all these NBA-type moves going on yeah. across the NFL. If you're trying to stay competitive, the best thing to do is keep Jimmy G there. And even John Lynch said, you know, that it, they can't afford it. Yeah. So if you can't afford it, then just do it. That's the best thing to be competitive. So to me, it shouldn't even be a co you know conversation. The the people who are going to have the most confidence in Jimmy G's arm are the 49ers. <laughs> do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.